The National Weather Service confirming six tornadoes in all, including that one in Franklin County, Indiana. This one hit a campground northeast of Brookville, Indiana, and our WLWT News News Giacomo Luca is live for us with the cleanup happening there. Hi, Giacomo. Yeah, Sheree, yeah, Mike, uh, we are learning from the NWS that the path of that tornado actually started in Brookville, heading southeast all the way to the Ohio state line, potentially even further. They're still surveying to see where that tornado may have ended up and actually finished. But a majority of the damages was at the Hickory Woods campgrounds here in Franklin County, Indiana, just outside of Brookville, uh, outside of the downtown area, where officials uh, with emergency management say miraculously no one was hurt. The blue edge, yes. The van survived. Danelle Chafin says it was very loud as she rode out the storm with her husband in their trailer bathroom. My car damaged and the awning blew off on that one. The EF1 tornado toppled trees, flipped cars, and entire mobile homes, leaving a nasty mess for the more than 100 families who spend their summers at the Hickory Woods campgrounds. We have a boat up and we keep up on Brookville and, it, you know, we have the kids come up. The storm destroyed the porch of husband and wife Rick and Michelle Bachman's summer home bought weeks ago, and despite them trying several times, they weren't able to get it insured. It is a blessing that they all, that they, nobody was hurt. Emergency management officials remain on the scene, helping to clear debris and surveying the damages. Fayette County EMA Director Wade Walling says fortunately, no one was hurt. Now what's left to do is clean up, and it's just, you know, garages, trailers, uh, these campers. Now, emergency and management officials say the assessments are likely to take a few days. Uh, meanwhile, the damages at the Hickory Woods campground alone expected to run into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, tonight, heat remains the biggest concern for folks that remain there at the campgrounds. It's hot and it's humid as well as the potential for more storms likely to come our way. We're live today in Brookville, Giacomo Luca, WLWT News 5. Giacomo, thanks so much.